Hi everyone, I'm going to briefly talk about molecules of life. Water is the inorganic molecules of life. Water is well known with its formula H2O and is maintained in a wide V shape. It is a polar molecule. Because oxygen has partial negative charge, which is delta negative, and hydrogen has partial positive charge, which is delta positive. Each water molecule is able to form four hydrogen bonds with another four water molecules, where hydrogen atom will form one hydrogen bond. However, oxygen atom able to form two hydrogen bonds. Remember that hydrogen bond is formed between water molecules and covalent bond is found within a water molecule. Last but not least, there are six properties of water which are closely related with the role of hydrogen bonds. Carbohydrate, the important organic molecule as the main energy source to living thing. The classification of carbohydrate is based on the monomer, which is monosaccharide. There are three examples of monosaccharide, which are glucose, fructose, and galatose. Disaccharide or double sugars are formed when two monosaccharides join by dehydration. There are also three examples of disaccharide in which each of it have specific glycosidic bond. The last class of carbohydrate is polysaccharide, which means it has many repeated monomers. The large size polysaccharide is significantly different with monosaccharide and disaccharide. Basically, there are five examples of polysaccharide, such as cellulose consists of beta glucose as their monomer, and the polysaccharide consists of alpha glucoses as their monomers has glycogen, which is the animal storage sugar, and starch, which is the plant storage sugar. Starch itself consists of amylose and amylopectin. In this video, we briefly discuss the types of lipid and also the structure of fatty acid and glycerol. There are three types of lipid. Triglyceride, which can be found in solid form, such as fat, or liquid form, which is oil, and phospholipid and steroid. We are going to study about the building units of triglyceride. The prefix TRI refer to each triglyceride consists of three molecules of fatty acid and also one molecule of glycerol. Other than carbohydrate, protein is a type of polymer because it consists of amino acid as their monomers and this amino acid can be good. The proteins can be classified into four different levels of structures. And there are two main types of affecting factors of the protein structure, which are pH and temperature. Proteins can be classified in terms of structure and composition. Amino acid, the monomers of protein, consists of a C atom covalently bonded to four components, which are hydrogen atom, our group or side chain of this amino acid, and another two functional group, which is amino group, NH2, and carboxyl group, COOH. Amino acid is also an amphoteric molecule, which means it has both basic group, which is amino group, and also
also acidic group, which is carboxyl group in one molecule. Amino acid can be grouped into four types, which are non-polar, polar, acidic, and basic. The grouping is based on the type of output or side chain in this amino acid. Proteins can be found in one polypeptide chain or more than one polypeptide chain. The first three levels of protein structure, which are primary, secondary, and tertiary, are all referred to a protein with only one polypeptide chain. Quaternary structure is the level of protein structure for those proteins with more than one polypeptide chain. The different types of interactions between our group or side chains of amino acid in the polypeptide chains, such as hydrogen bond, hydrophobic interactions, and van der Waals interaction, disulfide bridge, and ionic bond, able to maintain the globular shape of tertiary and quaternary structure. However, protein can lose its functional structure through the process of denaturation. Denaturation can occur may due to the extreme changes of affecting factors such as pH and temperature. In certain conditions, when the affecting factors such as pH and temperature restore to the normal range, the proteins can be renatured into the functional structure. Classification of protein is based on its composition and structure. Conjugated protein refer to the proteins consist of non-protein materials or prosthetic groups. However, both fibrous and globular proteins, they are purely made up by amino acid, just they are different in terms of structure. We study the two types of nucleic acid, which are DNA and RNA molecules. The topic starts with the structure of monomers, which is nucleotide, and also the types of RNA. Nucleotide is the monomer of nucleic acid, in which consists of phosphate group, the 5-carbon sugar, which is pentose, and nitrogenous base. Both DNA and RNA consist of nitrogenous bases such as adenine, guanine, and cytosine, but they are still different to each other in terms of the number of polynucleotide chains, the types of pentose sugar, and also the presence of thymines is only found in DNA, and vice versa, uracil is only found in RNA. Two polynucleotide strands of DNA has anti-parallel arrangement, which means the first polynucleotide strand or the left side has 5' prime to 3' prime direction downwards. The complementary strand or the right side has the 5' prime to 3' prime direction upwards. There are three types of RNA. First, messenger RNA, which is formed in the nucleus and migrate to the cytoplasm of cell. Second, is the transfer RNA, tRNA, which is going to carry amino acid. Last is the ribosomal RNA, rRNA, which is going to assemble with other proteins to form organelles ribosomes.